Today, I'll talk about Antony equation. By using Antony equation, we can easily calculate the vapor pressure in a particular temperature. Here is the Antony equation. So, log 10 P is equal to A minus B by C plus T, where P is the vapor pressure at mmHg. T is the temperature in degree centigrade, A, B, C, Antony constant specific to the substance. So, now here I am taking one example. So, Antony constant for water. So, here A uh, that is the Antony coefficient. So, Antony coefficient A value is 8.07131, B is 1730.63, C is 233.426 and this co constant is valid in the range of 1 degree centigrade to 100 degree centigrade. Now, calculation example at 25 degree centigrade means I am going to calculate vapor pressure at 25 degree centigrade. Now, as I am taking uh, that substance as a water, so now here that in input temperature is T is equal to 25 degree centigrade. So now calculate the vapor pressure using Antony equation. So now here, so log base 10 phi A minus B by C plus T. So now I am plugging A value, B value, C and T is 25 degree centigrade. After plug plugging, so I am getting log base 10 is equal to 1.3745. Now here from that we can easily calculate P is nothing but 10 to the power 1.3745 and finally P is 23.6942 mmHg. So now here vapor pressure at 25 degree centigrade is 23.6942 mmHg. Now we can easily convert a different unit. So at 25 degree centigrade so we got that vapor pressure of water is 23.6942 mmHg. So, from mmHg to that ATM, so we have to divide by 760. So, P ATM will be 0 0.0312 ATM. And if I want to cal uh, if convert in terms of the kilopascal, so we have to multiply it with the factor 0 0.133322. So, finally, P kilopascal is 3.1589 kilopascal. So, vapor pressure at 25 degree centigrade uh, that that is 23.6942 mmHg is equal to nothing but 0 0.0312 atm is equal to 3.1589 kilopascal. Now, if I take different temperature and uh, if I want to calculate the vapor pressure, so we can easily calculate that. So, here the different temperature 0 degree, 10 degree, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. So, uh, if I if I take different temperature and using Antony equation, we can easily calculate the vapor pressure. So, vapor pressure is in mmHg 4.5813, 9.2090s like that. So, 100 degree centigrade vapor pressure of water is 760.0013 mmHg. Now, if I plot this data and this is uh, this side is mmHg, atm and kilopascal. Now, if I plot uh, vapor pressure uh, in the, with respect to temperature versus means uh, if I plot vapor pressure versus temperature or temperature versus vapor pressure so the plot is like that so this is in uh, x axis temperature y axis vapor pressure so plot is like that so now what is the plot description so from this plot what we can learn so that the graph above so the relationship between the temperature x axis zero degree, uh, zero degree centigrade and vapor pressure y axis plotted using Antony equation, the curves are displayed. So, blue line is vapor pressure in MA, mmHg, so this one, then vapor pressure in ATM, so this is red line, not exactly red line, so that is yellow and green line vapor pressure in kilopascal. That, so from this, what is the nature of the graph? The exp exponential nature of the relationship is clearly visible, the vapor pressure increasing more rapidly at higher temperature. Now, from this uh, plot, what we learn that plot conf confirms that 100 degree centigrade water is vapor, water's vapor pressure it reaches 760 mmHg or 1 atm, which is the standard atmospheric pressure at the sea level. So, explaining why the water boils at 100 degree centigrade under standard condition. So, that we learn. Now, from here, mathematical relationship. The Antony equation demonstrates that vapor pressure increases exponentially with temperature. This relationship is visible in the data table where the pressure increases more rapidly at higher temperature.
So now the key observation at 0 degree centigrade the vapor pressure is very low that is 4.58 mmHg. At 100 degree centigrade the vapor pressure reaches approximately 760 mmHg 1 atm which is normal boiling point at of the water and the rate of increase uh, increase accelerate as temperature rise means <coughs> vapor pressure will increase as temperature rises. So now here vapor pressure and temperature relationship the Anthony equation accurately models how vapor pressure increases with temperature for water within the range of 1 degree centigrade to 100 degree centigrade. At the normal boiling point 100 degree centigrade the vapor pressure equals atmospheric pressure that is 660 mmHg or 188. So finally, so we have to remember what is the Anthony equation. So Anthony equation is nothing but log base 10p a minus b by c plus d. So that is the Anthony equation. That's it. Thank you.